Hello, 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 hello. Welcome to my channel, Life and Lessons. It's your girl, Melissa. I'm back with you with a blessed for a message. So today I just want to come on here and just share this blessed for a message with you guys. Um, I pray that it be beneficial to you. I pray that it encourage you. I pray that it lift your spirit up. Especially, you know, with this coronavirus going on. So um, I just want to share this blessed for a message um, that God, you know, put it in my spirit. You know, dropped in my spirit to give you guys. And the message that I have for you guys is shoot your ammunition. Shoot your ammunition. And um, as you know, ammunition, like the one, uh, the army, they use an army. They ammunition is, or the, the ammunition is the shooting is, is our, um, their bullets, their bullets. But in the body of Christ, in the body of Christ, we have ammunitions too. Our ammunition is the Word of God. The Word of God. So right now, as this corona is going on, we need to be shooting our ammunition back at the enemy. When, they're in the, when army soldiers, they're in the army, and they're shooting at the enemy, they're shooting bullets out at the enemy. But in the body of Christ, we need to be shooting out the Word of God. We need to be shooting out the Word of God against the enemy, against this coronavirus. It's time for us as believers of Christ to come together to take a stand and just you know we need to be reading our word we need to be reading our word and you know i just get tired of watching the news and all you hear is the coronavirus the coronavirus the coronavirus and i'm like it seems like the more they talk about it the more you see it's like the more that it affects you so um i just want to bless you i just want to bless you with this message um uh, shoot your ammunition Shoot your ammunition, the word, getting your word. Shoot the word back at this sickness, this illness, this disease. Let's shoot back at shoot back at this disease with the word of God. And a scripture that I want to share with you guys, I was reading, and I didn't know that it was in my Sunday school lesson for this week. My Sunday school lesson for this week was in Matthew uh, four four, and it said, "It is written." And that is basically what the um, Jesus kept telling the enemy each time the enemy came to him with stuff, you know, telling him if you be the son, if you be the son of man, cast yourself down. And Jesus told him, "It is written. It is written, Satan, get the get the get the hands. It is written." And that what we need to be saying each time we hear the coronavirus or any sickness or anything going on, we need to be saying, "It is." written get the hand satan it is written so um and another thing another thing that um another thing that i want to share with you guys it brings your attention like as this this going on and what i've been doing i've been trying to feed my spirit with positive things like with this going on be careful with what you watch on the t what you watch on TV. You know, a lot of those negative things it can disturb your spirit. It can disturb your spirit and cause fear to come. You watching this stuff and you like, oh, what they finna do now? What they f oh, they finna do this? They finna do that? And the more I was watching this stuff, I was like, no, I don't want to watch this no more. <laughs> I'm like, God, I do not want to watch this no more. I don't want to hear about no Corona no more. I went to the point where it's um. Where it said the uh, Corona C O V, I changed it. I changed the word to was it C O V I D. I changed it to coming out, coming out victorious and delivered in 2020. I changed the word. I put it on my Facebook. Um, I put it on my Facebook uh, post. So those of you you subscribe to my channel, um, feel free. Uh, my Facebook page is Melissa F Johnson. But I put it out on my Facebook, uh, my Facebook post. But uh, I'm just sick of it. <laughs> I'm just sick of hearing, you know, hearing about the coronavirus. You know, so I just want to come on here and encourage you guys: shoot your ammunition, shoot your ammunition, which is the word of God. And you know, be careful what you're what you're listening to, what you're watching. You know, when you're watching too much of that stuff, I just you know, if it disturbs your spirit, just turn it off. Turn it off and start reading your Bible. You have to, we have to know, we have to trust and believe that God is in control. God is in control. God knew this was going to happen. He knew this was going to take place. I do believe that God is trying to get our attention. He's trying to wake us up. Like, you know what? You need to wake up. Y'all need to wake up. Y'all so used to 
things not happening, you know, not hitting. When I think about it, um, when this happened, the first coronavirus, when this happened, I was thinking about New Orleans when um, they had the hurricane. And I was just thinking about, like, God, you've been so good to us. You've been so good to us that, you know, uh, United States as a whole, like, we haven't been hit with, like, no tornadoes, like, no hurricane. And for this to happen, this coronavirus, you know, it hit us. And it's God to wake us up, like, you know, you're not exempt. You're not exempt. We can't get to the point of thinking, like, nothing is nothing going to happen to us, you know. Things are going to happen, but when it happens, we have to take precaution. And we have to pray and trust and believe that God is going to get, you know, God is going to get us through this. If he got the people from New Orleans through, through you know, the hurricane, what make you think that he's not going to pull us through, get us through this? So it, even though it happened, this happened to us, and we might not like what happened, but we have to trust and believe that God is going to get us through this. And again, I say, be careful what you feed in your spirit as this corona thing is going on. Be careful what you feed in your, your spirit. Try to feed your spirit with positive things. Try to put on some inspirational music or try to watch something inspirational. Don't be constantly, you know, watching the news back and forth because the more you watch the news back and forth, the more it's going to disturb your spirit. So I just want to come on here and share this blessful message with you guys. Shoot your ammunition. Shoot your ammunition. Pick up your Bible. Pick up your Bible and start reading. Start reading your Bible. Pick it up and read. This is your ammunition. The people in the army, they have guns. To, they shoot their ammunition. They have guns. They have bullets. This is our ammunition. Our ammunition is the word of God. So let's pick up our ammunition and shoot it back at the enemy. Let's send this coronavirus back to his sender. Send it back and let's pray that it never return again. So I pray this message. Oh, is, before I end this video, it's another scripture that I want to share with you guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's another scripture. Another scripture that I want to um, share with you guys that I want to bless you with. And it is um, 2 Chronicles 7 and 14. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will heal their land. So again, God is saying, if my people, my people, which are us, who are he talking to? Us believers is Christ. If my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves and turn from their wicked ways, then will he hear from heaven and he will heal our land. So what we need to be doing right now, we haven't already, we need anything that we haven't uh, repented of, wrong doing, we have done, we need to be repenting, asking God to, Lord, Lord, forgive me. Forgive me for my, my sins. Lord, we need a healing in our land. I was watching on, um, I think it was, it was on the news, or it was a, a Facebook post, and they were saying how the congressman, how he was, you know, with the, uh, in the White House, and they was praying. They was praying, and they was asking God to forgive us for our sin. Now, that is something. God is trying to get our attention. When you see the people in the White House, they're praying and asking God, um, asking God to forgive them for their sin. That, that's all he wants. That's all God wants. He wants us to come together in unity, each and every one of us. Not to say, um, you repented, I mean, uh, you committed sin. You can, he wants all of us to come together. And he wants us to confess our sins and say, Lord, forgive me for our sin. We need a healing in the land. So, I pray and I hope that this message has been a blessing to you. And if you're if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, feel free to subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. If you have any comments, please comment below. And I pray that this message has been a blessing to you, as it has been a blessing, as it been blessed for me. And I pray and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye. Be blessed.